take you 10 minutes to get down from Greenway. Heidi, thank you. I don't understand people these days. Uh, dogs are family, and I think that they were they were bothersome to some people. I don't know why they would not just reach out to. There's so many resources in the state for animals that aren't wanted. Oh, thank you, Gail, for rescuing them and turning them over to the rescue. The dogs are expected to be ready for adoption in the next couple of weeks. If you would like more information, maybe looking for that little puppy for Christmas, huh? Mm -hmm. We posted a link on our website, fox10phoenix.com. You're watching Fox 10 AZAN with Ron Hoover, Rick D'Amico, Andrea Robinson, Celeste Rodriguez, and Corey McCloskey in HD. They got a big problem in China. Oh, Their yeah. capital city, Oof. Beijing... It's the new Big Bang Theory, CB percent with 5% ever experienced. We've got the latest video in the newsroom. We'll tell you about the latest steps coming up. And down came the rain, and so did the asphalt. The Pacific Northwest. It's the perfect. And the burn ban is one of your top stories. So you can get all the details on what is prohibited today by just downloading that free ABC 15 mobile app. Let's talk temperatures now in your most accurate forecast. Right now, chilly as you're... We're supposed to be driving the Priuses. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, China, take a deep breath. Well, not too deep. Uh, 77 <laughs> today. That's where we're headed. Find out about the rest of the week and the weekend, too, in a couple of minutes. In fact, we'll be up to 76 degrees by 2 o'clock. Temperatures today running about 10 degrees, if not a little bit more, above average for this time of year. Look at these highs in the mid to upper 70s. We'll talk about the big cool down by the weekend, though, next. I-10 drivers out in the West Valley. Your drive is much lighter than normal. It is just a 19-minute ride-in right now from Loop 101 heading in. That's less than a 10-minute delay. But tomorrow night, it is going to get very busy. ADOT reminding drivers, because of the Cardinals game tomorrow night, I-10 westbound and then Loop 101 both directions, you're going to see a lot of extra congestion there. Either you're headed to the game or just headed home from work. So something to plan ahead for again tomorrow night. Taking a look right now at I-17, we've had two crashes, northbound at Thunderbird and then southbound right at Glendale. So you're seeing just a little bit extra congestion. This is right at Northern Avenue. Those southbound lanes just a little bit busier than normal, but over manage Europe's debt crisis, which is not over yet. Right. Uh, that fine, but uh, the re I think the, the refugee, refugee crisis. Uh, I'm not too sure that that's going to, I think she's even backed out of that. All right, 12 minutes now after the hour. Well, we showed you the heroic moments as an officer rushes the scene in San Bernardino. Try to relax, everyone. Try to relax. I'll take a bullet before you do. That's for damn sure. They are now taking up, but does the city have its hands tied? Today's military group. Oh, the freeways, Dee Dee. Tram, like you said, it's looking lovely. A lovely day. 60 near rural, things moving right along. Let's take a look at the maps to see what's going on there. 202 Santan looks crystal clear. 101, 10, just some slowing near the Broadway curve, but that's expected at this time. 612, taking a look at your drive times. 10 headed eastbound from the 303 to 7th Street. 28 minutes for that total stretch. It looks like your slowest spot is right here, the 101 to the stack. You guys are looking at a total drive time of 16 minutes this morning. 17 southbound from the 303 to the split, 60 westbound from the 202 to the 10. Both of those top speeds all around. And if we break this down, we can see 65 miles per hour, seven minutes total drive time from the 202 to Gilbert Road. So no new accidents to report, no heavy delays. We're in great shape. Tram. Thank you. Tomorrow night, the Cardinals will go for the seventh straight win. The team has not won that many games in a row in 41 years. They are hosting the Vikings tomorrow night at the University of Phoenix Stadium. Kickoff 625. If we win tomorrow and Seattle loses this coming weekend, then the Cards secure the division and a spot in the playoffs. We like the sound of that. And with each Cardinals win, the Bird Gang grows even stronger. J.R. Cardinals is hanging out this morning at 104.3 with... Learn more. Fresh made, fresh baked. Tucson 45 and Casa Grande and 37 in Kingman. We've got some clouds out there again. Look down and we'll put you on TV. How about that? Absolutely. Bruce, thank you for that fabulous shot. Thank you so much. You bet. All right. If you're just joining us, here are the five things you need to know as you wake up this morning. Today, on short, again, it won't impact us.
Back everyone, 614 and traffic right now, not too bad. However, the I-17 has an accident that they are dealing with. So if you're headed out on that one, it's going to get slow where it typically does around the Metro Center area. Heading down toward this crash scene and then beyond that, it does lighten up a little bit. You can see it on the map right now. You can see right around uh, Glendale, northern Glendale area is where that accident is reported. We'll uh, start here on the 10 though because of course, even without an accident, that's the slowest freeway so far this morning. We're down to about 38 miles per hour there. 10 minutes to head across from 75th Avenue to the stack. And then over on the 17, there's the accident. It's at Glendale. It's on the inbound lanes, and it is bulking up traffic quite a bit. In fact, here are some live pictures for you this morning as you head out. Just to give you an idea of what your freeway looks like this morning. It's getting better, but you can still see a sea of brake lights there and tail lights as it works down toward that accident scene. Past Glendale, it frees up nicely, continuing down toward the stack. Guys? Okay, Andrea, a quarter after now, the weather alert continues in the Pacific Northwest. There is so much water pouring in some of those areas, it is causing problems for hundreds of thousands of people. In fact, even Amtrak is having to plan alternate routes. The heavy rainfall in Portland has caused sewers to back up. The drivers are, are go around signs that say the road is closed there and ignoring the warning to turn around, don't drown, is not only dangerous and it's expensive. So they have some folks who are not following the rules in terms of some of the signs that uh, the authorities are putting up. Modern vehicles have so many electronics, it's almost like dragging your laptop through some of that dirty water. I see the pictures of people driving through this water, and, and it's not a week's pay they're going to lose. It started shooting at the Inland Resource Center. For us. Too, you are no fun. I know. I really am a water water girl. Ew, water and tea. <laughs> Note to self, don't party with don't. me. <laughs> All right. You I do, well... Okay, margaritas. I have to add that to my okay. list. Okay. Okay. You're good. <laughs> okay. I'll be I'm right back over. in Yetta's party circle. <laughs> You're Thank back. you, God. And <laughs> we're back. Okay. Uh, it's still early. It's 616. Yes. You're going to give folks a good reason to sleep uh, in. The women. The Men, women only. Get your butts up. It's time to go to work. <laughs> Science says we ladies need the extra sleep because... Our brains are busier, Carlos. Yes. Are you listening? Carlos. Scientists say. <laughs> <laughs> Scientists say All a can woman's do is laugh. busy, multitasking brain mm -hmm. needs more time to relax right. and recover that during. Is so oh, true. Right. Right. I thank you. On average, women need 20 minutes more shut eye than the average man. And if women are sleep deprived, well, watch out. First of all, mm -hmm. they suffer with more uh, higher levels of anxiety, depression, and health issues. Yeah. It, there's a lot going on up here. Yeah. It needs to rest. Yes. And right? Carlos, now that you have a baby on the way, yeah. Olga, I hope you're watching. This is so key when you have kids. Oh we gosh. are doing a million things in our heads and you never know. And about our bodies it. are doing a million Can things. Can we pull to up his camera? Alive. No, no his camera face. over here. There's no oh, camera. It's not set up oh, there you're today. lucky. Because mm -hmm. you were going to get it. No, gonna, yeah, the look exactly. on the Carlos's <laughs> face after yesterday's comment about um, men being better navigators. Oh, whatever. Oh, boy. Are you guys sure? need to take a break because you've talked for quite a while. Your brains not, might need a break. You I know, don't your take bra a break. Your brains you might need a break. traffic. I'll <laughs> give you the clicker. I'm not smart enough for that. I'm not smart enough. That's good. Touché. It is true, though. So women, no, uh, you don't need any other excuses. Okay. Just go to bed early. All right. Sleep in. Make that guy do there the break. Going. It's official. All right. <laughs> Let's talk traffic. <laughs> if you are here, say the third attacker at the uh, battle across move across the state here hit and miss on and off don't get too caught up in the placement here just know that we've got some good chance especially in the high country to see snow especially since very cold air is going to be on deck so we have that cold air to drop on snow levels will come tumbling down maybe as low as 4500 feet and then here in the valley might be a near miss for a, a shower but down here uh, in Scottsdale, it's not showing up on the cameras because of the construction uh, going on there. The I-10, again, is our slow spot of the morning. We have about four or five miles now of orange conditions. This typically means speeds in the 30s and 40s, so not horrible. Uh, we are slow through the stack, though, as well. Something's funny over there. I'm not sure you can hear him. Traffic looks good for you folks in the east. High pressure still hanging out the next couple of days here. Temperatures make a run at 80 degrees, mixture of sun and clouds, and then those storm chances work their way into the forecast on Friday. And notice the drop in temperatures cooler over the weekend and another shot for a shower on Monday and really quick breaking down tonight and tomorrow night's forecast. If you're going to be checking out some Christmas.
Starbucks and you're like, okay, but I want <laughs> I know. a skosh of <laughs> <laughs> like what exactly is this? A skosh? Yeah. Season for sharing. You know the jingle. That's right, our aunt Friday, and then down we uh in AZ Central to support more than a hundred Arizona. So for today, the valley will go. Crazy. No, they can handle Don't your crazy. Yes. yes, they can. I want to know how obnoxious your drink is. I'm going to put it on Facebook. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ours are crazy. Yeah, that's a great question. You might want to have it. Doesn't have any contracts and that it'll pay. But one family in Michigan just didn't even want to compete. So they did that right there that you just. And beyond as we'll see some class. At holiday display, the family just put up a sign that says ditto. It turns dry across the state despite the clouds tomorrow dry as it may not be permanent. Yeah, we didn't add limited time because we wanted no, you know, no, I don't like to get friendly. people in a panic. Yeah, yeah right. Friendly is better. Friendly, yeah. uh, I mean, couldn't we do it sort of a charge per click? Isn't it time to start thinking about it? <laughs> oh, don't think that those thoughts are not being tossed around in oh, some of yeah. the uh, high-level meetings. Oh, now, yeah. Where do those happen around? In the corner. Oh, there's a room with frosted glass. Oh, <laughs> like, you, okay. you can see something's going on it's in there, mysterious. but you don't want to knock. Hey, do you, have, uh, do you have some folks who just love selfies coming up, or maybe on your Christmas list? In our 7 a.m. hour, the Fox Consumer Reporter Steve Noviello. At these temperatures in your most accurate seven day forecast. Two more days in the 70s, then a cool down. In fact, look. All built, smaller scale, in Legos. The new Lego land is. Likely we're going to stay dry out there, but yes, all.